Wow, this time is exactly this time. How is it possible? In this video, I will explain the RTC module that provides the date and time for you. In this video, join us to know about it. Okay, this one is the RTC module, is the real time clock module. This module actually provides the time and date for the microcontrollers that is the connect to the microcontroller with the serial protocols like as I2C. So uh, what is the component inside the, this module? This module is the one DS1307IC that provides the time and the date. One external crystal is near to the 32 kHz and one e 2 p ROM. And here is also is the one lithium battery with the three volts that provide the electrical energy that dis disconnect the board or secret uh, from the power line actually this module has the one uh, one D, uh, one temperature sensors that can compensate of the uh, performance of the circuits against to the temperature variation some of the module uh, some of the RTC module provide the temperature as well so uh, for the more explanation I will show you everything in the slides that's uh, about the why I, I must to use the RTC and uh, different kind of that and something like this information real-time clock or RTC why we should use this kind of the modules and in this slide very simple I want to introduce two popular module based on the DS1307 and DS3231 what is the differences and this kind of the module what is the responsibility in your project as one component that can provide the time for you if you want to know about that join us in these slides so why RTC module uh, actually this kind of the module provide the clock real-time clock based on the minutes seconds and of course the hours and you can for example put the calendar in your project based on the name of the month date of the for example the which uh, date you are and they can for example provide for you uh, and uh, very exact time and calendar and can compensate the uh, difference months between the number of the days as you know better than me some months are the 13 days and some months is 31 or 29 days this one can actually make up this problem for you the other things is that actually they have the one EPROM uh, that uh, very limited about the capacity but uh, you can use it automatically the time and date go there inside it is general purpose and of course there is the one backup battery you can use it as for example when the power supply of the, this module is disconnected that I will explain it more in continue actually so uh, the about the connection to the microcontroller is the based on I2C or serial ports this one is the, the connection is the I2C uh, uh, bus actually so very low power consumption and this uh, module actually is used very low power ampere, ampere like as for example consumption of the ampere is near to the 500 nano ampere that usually without any problem actually with the battery you can if that's depend of the quality of the battery actually can work for you near to the 16 years until the 10 years about the range of the temperature you can use it in the any project but that's uh, be, be based on the range of the minus 40 until the positive 85 degree and other one I told you the power uh, about the power consumption is very low and there is the one option that's uh, very important automatically actually can switch from the battery to the 
uh, voltage for example uh, for to the power supply actually and for example if your uh, power supply is disconnected automatically can supply from the backup battery other one is the uh, one of the uh, characteristics of the module is the external crystals so ds1307 uh, actually this is the one which actually is the weakness is use the external uh, crystal the external crystal is the 32.768 kilohertz and as you know better than me that the crystals are affected by the temperature uh, and is very sensitive to the temperature based on the this usually this kind of the uh, modules use the temperature sensors uh, on the, these modules so other one is that the, as i told you this one is the e2p1 based on the 24 c32 that is the usually use the 56 bytes but sometimes it is 32 bytes that's depend of the some models that's uh, produced actually but usually is 56 bytes and of course the other chips is the uh, the rtc chips this is the ds1307 chips so this is the connection of between the ds1307 and the one microcontroller that i get it from the data sheet this one is the very easy these two pins uh, actually this is the bus from the i2c this one is the pull up in the one topics i will explain these two and of course this is the output for the some square waves that can provide this module for you this is the one options actually and this one is the, of course the pull up this is the you can connect it to the battery this one is the ground and just this you can use it easily of course we have many libraries that if you want to connect it to the arduino so uh, why we use the uh, rtc so it's easy the microcontrollers based on the which year actually is produced they are for example many years ago they don't have the option from the rtc so based on for example the uh, z80 or 851 from the intel don't have the, these options so how can i produce the rtc easily you can add the one module i uh, the name of the that i said to you before uh, this kind of the processor don't have the rtc then you can add the modules but new processor like as the stm32 or arm structure of course they have the rtc inside them so you can use it you can for example uh, just put the crystal external crystal and you can use it easily one of them is the stm especially that have that is very exact and this kind of the microcontroller actually don't need to add any rtc modules so as you can see here is the crystals external crystal to working the microcontroller in stm32 and this one is the external crystals for the rtc of the these actually microcontrollers so next slide i want to speak about the what is the differences between these two modules actually ds3231 is the some advantages and of course is advanced module in comparison to the ds3307 so is the most important items is the ds3231 is doesn't have the external crystals it means is more accurate in comparison to the ds1307 because ds3 uh, 1307 or this module i show you in the slides uh, it's depend of the, the accuracy is depend of the external crystal and this external crystal is much dependent on the temperature and the, the temperature uh, the accuracy is affected and near to the five minute per year you have the differences with the accurate time actually so this one is the 
important differences between two and of course about the prices is the S30 to 31 is the higher prices you need to buy it in comparison to the DS1307. So because of we solve this problem in the this module actually DS1307 we must put the one sensor temperatures. Let's go to the explain actually about the Arduino libraries. The Arduino libraries is under name of the RTC read. You can download it from the GitHub and download it from library manager in the Arduino IDE that you can for example that you can see in the serial print you can see the date time and anything you want about the time and calendar so let's go for the RTC module pinouts actually so I told you before if you want to compensate or make up this affection there is the one places in the DS1307 for the connection of the just this kind of the module is based on DS18 B20 just this one you can use it not other temperature sensors so let's go for the pinout introduction actually or definition it how can I use it first of all is this one is the battery you can connect the battery the positive of the positive of the battery to here and the ground actually other one is the ground another one is the VCC and of course SDA and SCL is therefore the I2C connections and DS is the temperature out what is that actually when you want to connect this temperature sensors usually if you want you can use it in the project that this data is available for you that you can put it in your project same time you have the RTC and you have the temperature value actually so and other pins is the SQ that is SQ uh, square wave that is in uh, provide you the 1 Hertz 4 kilo 8 or 32 kilohertz you can get it from these pins usually actually this one is the just one option that you can use it it means you can use it as a signal generator but with a special a special frequency that is written in here actually so other one is I, I told you is the temperature sensors and the temperature uh, sensors name is is written in here DS18 B20 actually and other one is the this is the sensors I want to introduce the pins also is for you one is the uh, power supplies as a VSCC is positive and the middle one is the data and other one is the ground is the very easy and of course is the digital uh, sensors actually this kind of that that uh, you can use it easily so this is the another picture from the DS1307 you can use this one is the battery holder and this is the battery actually the battery is the near to the 30, 30 volts actually and uh, some of them if uh, some of them your project use the rechargeable battery but this kind of the sensors actually doesn't have the charger components or parts in the this project and usually just we use the simple battery and this one is the front top and the bottom the size is very small and of course this module is effective if you can for example provide the time and of course you can define the alarm in your program and you can use it in the next sections actually in the next videos i try to write the code for you i will explain it i as a more practical project that you can use it easily thank you that we, uh, you joined us in this slides um hopefully this explanation was worthy for you